Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In today's session, we'll discuss about how to value goodwill. There are basically three methods for valuing goodwill. First one is average profit method second one is super profit method and third one is capitalization method so we'll start with average profit method and we'll understand this with the help of an example we have a question here now the first question is which we have to solve with the help of average profit method is a purchased B's business with effect from 1st of January 2008 it was agreed that the firm's goodwill is to be valued at two years purchase of normal profits of the last three years. The profits of these business for last three years are as follows. It has been given and we have to calculate the firm's goodwill. Now the very first step to value goodwill using average profit method is to find the average of normal profit or in other words we can say that average maintainable profit so what we are going to do is we'll solve this problem problem which we have been provided so first of all we'll note down the details in 2005 the company has 80,000 of profit which includes an abnormal gain of rupees 10,000 so what average maintainable profit means is to remove all the abnormal profits and to account for or add all the abnormal losses so what we need to do is for the profit of 2005 what we are going to write is profit in 2005 and uh, mark a column or average maintainable profit profit so in 2005 we have a profit of rupees 80,000 and we have to deduct the abnormal gain so here we have rupees 70,000 for 2006 profit in 2006 
that is 1 lakh and there was an abnormal loss of 20,000 so what we are gonna do is we'll add this abnormal loss into our total profit so we have a profit of 1 lakh and 20,000 in 2006 the profit in 2007 Profit in 2007 is 90,000 excluding 10,000 as insurance premium on firm's property now to be insured. This need to be deducted from your profit, this 10,000. So we'll write 90,000 and we'll deduct 10,000 which is an expense which has not been incorporated so our profit comes to be 80,000 so that now we'll add these and uh, we have an amount of 2 lakh and 70,000 so the normal average profit would be two lakh seventy thousand divided by number of years so it's ninety thousand and it has been stated in the question that goodwill is to be valued at two years purchase of normal profit now what does this mean number of year of purchase means how many years the firm is going to earn the same amount of profit because of its past efforts after change of ownership so what we are gonna do is just goodwill would be the multiplication of normal average profit and number of years purchased so here it would be 90,000 multiplied by 2 that is one lakh and eighty thousand so this would be your goodwill amount by use of normal average profit method and we can also use weighted average profit but weighted average profit is generally used where we have a trend in profit or loss like uh, increasing profit or decreasing profit so we can use weighted average profit method uh, for valuation of goodwill in those uh, situations and if we have this fluctuating profit then we can use average profit simple average profit so next we solve a problem where we have used this weighted average profit method now let us solve another problem this problem would be on the basis of average profit method weighted average profit method so here we have this question the profit of the firm for the year ended 31st of March for 
last five years are as follows these are the data given and uh, we have to calculate the goodwill on the basis of three years purchase of weighted average profit okay so what we are gonna do first is to prepare a table so that we can solve it easily so the solution for the second problem is this is using weighted average profit method so we'll prepare a table first we'll sign year then we have a column for profit then we can provide the weights we are going to assign each and every year and then the product of weights and profit or you can say that if you can number them as column 1 2 3 then column 4 is multiplication of column 3 and column 2 or you can write 2 or 3 so we have this column now weights are assigned to different years in such a manner that you assign the maximum weight to the latest data or you can say that you assign maximum weight to the most recent year so what we are gonna do is to enumerate all the years I guess it's from 2003 yeah 2003 2004 5 2006 2007 now the profit for each year was 40,000 next was 48,000 we have 60,000 50,000 and then 36,000 now as we can see that from 2005 the there is a trend in profit that it has been decreasing and we'll assign the maximum weight to most recent data that is we'll assign maximum weight to 2007 as we have five years so we assign five to 2007 six to 2004 uh, 2006 we assign four for 2005 we assign three 2004 two and 2003 one uh, if you have uh, three years then uh, you can assign three to the most recent one and then two and then one uh, if you have four years you can do uh, accordingly so what we we have the sum of this as 15 yes in the last row we uh, will get the total of uh, this weights in the in the last column we have product so we'll multiply them column 2 and column 3 we have 96,000 here here we'll get 1 lakh and 80,000 
two lakhs and at last it would be one lakh and eighty thousand so the sum would be so this is the sum and uh, we all know the weighted average profit would be equal to the product of profit and weight divided by total of weight or we can say the total product of profit and weight or you can say weighted profit total weighted profit and that is divided by total of weights so we have 696 triple zero divided by 15 the amount comes to be four six four double zero so this is the weighted profit and the goodwill would be weighted average profit multiplied by number of years of purchased years number of years purchased that would be four six four double zero and uh, as I can recall it was for three years purchase okay so we'll multiply it with three the amount comes to be one lakh thirty nine thousand two hundred and this is the calculated goodwill with the help of weighted average profit method so this is how we calculate goodwill or value goodwill with the help of average profit method maybe we can use simple average profit or we can assign weighted average profit we can use a weighted average profit now this method is considered to be better than the simple average method because uh, in this method we uh, assign importance to or we can say assign weights to the most recent data so uh, we can always use this method and uh, we should use weighted average profit method normally hope this video helps you uh, in understanding the goodwill valuation we'll continue with super profit method in our next video